the next uh, administrative job that you always get is different types of workflow administration okay so uh, is to forward all the items from user a to user b okay so this happens when suppose someone is sick someone mm, someone is not is in a remote location and cannot log into sap so so you may have to pick up all pick up some of the items from this user's inbox to another person's inbox so let's let's go to sap now so we'll go to this transaction code okay and here always mention us and here in the id so 90 percent of the time they give up username a username uh username uh, the first name and last name doesn't mean anything in sap okay so we have to find the user id so suppose i'll search with my id car okay and if you notice there's two id one id is terminated another id i'll just double click if you see the first name and okay and the the most another thing that you have to always do is you click on this work items to be completed so these are the ones that are pending okay so by default this this is selected completed work items but you can you have to select work items to be completed okay and if the date comes you have to blank it out okay and now suppose i execute and if you see there are so many items in my inbox okay so suppose they want to uh, they want to forward only these items so first thing in sap when you have something nothing is getting selected and you cannot do copy paste first thing you have to do is press Control y in your keyboard and then drag on the stuff that you want to do Control c okay we are going to copy okay now we copied it and now i'm going to create a session so in sap you can you know there are multiple ways of doing the same thing so you can create a session here you can create a session from here okay let me create a session from here okay and now here i will go to another transaction code swi5 the same transaction code now i'm going and i will set i will check check the item to whom I am going to forward, what is the state of his inbox. So this is the, the user ID with whom I'm going to forward to. So let's see. So we execute and if you see, this is test user and nothing is assigned. So I'm going to forward those items that I copy. Now I'll create a new session, okay? so we will see before and after case okay so here this is the transaction code that i will use okay swia so i double click on it i paste it so here is another tips in sap okay so if you do control v it will copy only eight items okay and if you have 20 items it will not copy those okay so in this screen so in order to make sure all those things are copied by default click on this upload from clipboard okay so that will make sure everything is copied okay and then you click on this button copy okay and then you click on this execute button and now if you see here so these are the items that i'm going to forward so in a workflow a work item id is like a primary key this is the actual task that we are going to forward so i click i click on you can click one item at one go but you can click the select all okay and then you click on this icon administrative forward okay so here again you see a small pop-up shows up and now I'll click on, so I need to know what is the user ID. So I'll just click on the last name was user, okay. So let me see. So if you see, this is the test user. So I just double click on it. Once I'm done, I'll click on continue. Okay, if you notice, 
it says you cannot choose yourself as an agent. So since I am the administrator, I cannot send it to myself. So what I can do is I'll select another user. So let me select another user. Okay. And I think I've selected the wrong user. Okay. Which happens. Okay. So here, this is the ID I'm selecting. And let's go to her inbox to check what is assigned to her. So since, again, uh, lots of times it, this screen may show, it takes a longer time to show everything because she has a lot of items. So if you see, she has a lot of items, but she doesn't have any of these type of items that we are going to forward okay now we select we forward it so if you see in the bottom it shows forwarded successfully now what we will do is we will refresh it okay let's see we'll have probably 865 it will how many items were there probably how many items were there it was seven so it will add up to 870 so we are refreshing see so 872 so seven items was assigned to to the user and now we'll go to the original users inbox and this seven items will disappear so this is the refresh button i click on the refresh button and it has disappeared